Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, today, some of you guys might want to know this, but I'm just going to be telling to you of how to get Steam and how it works and if you're going to be able to use it. Uh, Steam is an online community where you play for free. You have to buy games though, but the online play is for free. That's why I meant. Um, I'm going to be showing you in this video if your computer can handle the games and a, a little bit about what Steam is. Now, first, I guess, before you download Steam in the link in the description, you're going to want to know um, if your computer can handle it, first of all, because if your computer can't handle it, there's no point in downloading it. So, let's go to Start, Computer, you're going to right-click on that, go down to Properties, click on it. After that part's done, it should bring you to this. I'm going to maximize mine so it's easier for you guys to see it, and that small little crappy screen you get. Um, so right here it says all your information. Windows Vista is what I have on this computer. Windows Vista is good enough to play games, but it does take a lot of memory for a game, so it won't it'll be sort of laggy. Um I suggest you have Windows 7 or XP. Those are the really good gaming formats. Uh so yeah. Vista you could still play. Um uh some of the good companies that you should have. Um one the Best companies is Alienware, best gaming company. Uh, Gateway is number two. Then there's another one, and Dell. You never get Dell. Even though Dell makes Alienware, th their Dell side sucks. Um, so Gateway, Alienware, or maybe a few others, or a custom-made computer will work. <coughs> Your processor should be at least uh, um, i3 or higher. I have a qu uh, quad, which is a four cores. Um, so you get the point there. Uh, your RAM, it should be at least two gigabytes or higher. I have four, eight, it's even better. Um, just have a good enough RAM to play the game so it can access files faster. Because the slower file, um, a smaller amount of RAM you have, less files you can access at a time, which slows down the game. It makes your frames per second slow and loading maps really slow. Um, system type, it doesn't matter. Uh, 64 bit is just 64 bit is just better anyhow so just just you have that and that's all for this part now I'll be showing you what graphics you will need um, you're gonna go to you're gonna right click on your um, desktop screen then you go to personalize go down to dis I mean display settings now it should show up this little part right here um, I'll center this uh, when you're on this, it sh will tell you basically, um, just click on advanced settings. Now it will tell you right there where it says adapter type, um, or if it just brings you to something else, just go click on adapter, make sure you're there on the adapter tab, and right where it says adapter type, it will tell you what graphics card you have. Mine is a AT ATI Redon HD 3200 graphics, um, I suggest you have at least 3200 or higher, um, I don't know exactly what the lowest is for gaming I guess it all depends on the game's graphics uh, but if you want to play Call of Duty I suggest you have at least 4200 I play Call of Duty on this with a 3200 my graphics are turned um, gr down so my basically instead of smoke bombs it's a lag bomb it makes your computer lag when you get in a smoke and anything that um, like has smoke or like it's transparent in a game it will slow down your graphic um, FPS which is frames per second, um, quite a bit. Uh, so, if you ever have 3200, you're good. Um, anything higher is way better. Anything lower, uh, I suggest you upgrade it if you can. Um, so that's how you see if you have good graphics or not. And that's basically all on that part. Now, Steam. Now, the link in the description brings you right to Steam.com. That's where you will download it. Um, once you download it you guys pretty much get the step you install it after you install it you sign you make an account after you make your account then you're ready to go when you make your account it should open up this now this is where you buy games uh, as you can see it just has many st categories you could search under um, it also has a, a search bar up here so let's say you want to find a game faster you just type in the first few words or letters and it will come up with all these suggestions that are close to that um, Call of Duty and all that stuff because I have call up there so that, that's how you use that part that's what I suggest you use Call of Duty is only 60 bucks um, 
Too bad you guys missed it. This week, it, um, spring break, it was all free uh, multiplayer, but then they closed it. Um, the community, this is where you see what your friends are doing at the moment. Um, you can see if they're online, what they've been doing recently, if they have, a, um, have joined any clans, groups, anything like that. Um, this is also where you join your clans as well, so basically that part, it's under groups. It's a clan, but they call them groups, I don't know why. I'm only in two groups. I don't really join a lot of groups because they're pointless. <coughs> now when you go to your games, this is where it shows all of your games. Um, I have multiple games. On, I have one, I have two accounts. So these are the games I have on this account and those are the games I have on the other account. Um, these are all the games I can play. Here's all the games I can play um, on the other account. It's just basically you double click on it and it launches it. Or you can just dump one, um, click once and then press launch. I double click it goes faster and you will have an icon for the game when you download it so you can just use the icon which is um, recommended now the media this is you guys understand what media is that's where you put all your media and tools this is where you can make um, this is where you download stuff for certain games to make maps and stuff I have source SDK uh, source SDK makes maps for counter-strike and Gary's mod and all those fun games that are kind of pointless but yeah this is pretty much the most useless part unless you're really good at this stuff which most likely you're not um, if you're new at this so I suggest you don't even touch it so that's all um, on that part now here's where all your icons well I have a gaming section on my fences which I showed you how to get you should have this if you like it I love it a lot it really helps out keeps my desktop organized um, so under my gaming section, which you might not have this or not, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, it'll have your icons for all your games, and you just double click on those to play. Um, uh, as you see, I have Halo here. You cannot get this on Steam. Only some game, like not all games, are on Steam. I forgot to mention that Steam is basically everything combined, but they don't have all games because the companies that want their games to be sold on Steam. Like, let's say Microsoft, they don't want their games on Steam. For some reason, they don't let them have it. So that's why you have to buy those games separately, and they only run on Windows Vista. So that's a downside. Um, even though I got my game, some of my games to work on, uh, uh, 7. They just probably said that before Windows 7 came out, so that's how it works. Um, then you have your other sen um, sections, like Call of Duty and stuff. They let Steam use uh, get profit from selling their games. So there's that part. And Steam is completely free if I didn't mention that before. And that's going to finish up this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them down to the comments. Um, if you ha want to ha um, get form some more information about this, just um, tell me in the comments as well, which is pretty much everything else. Um, remember to subscribe, right? So thanks for watching, guys. Ugh, I miss it. Bye. Yeah, let me restart at the end. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment and rate. Bye.